So I hope this video is as natural as possible because this is my second time filming this Q&A. So hey guys, I am back with another Ask Fash series. And if you have any questions that you want featured in the next video, feel free to drop a comment below. Without heels, I am 5'4", so I am pretty average. I'm just kind of at a point where I want to do everything, <laughs> but I want to make sure that I'm keeping my focus on uh, my hair business. And that's something that I'm really uh, passionate about right now. You guys know that I love hair. So running your own business is a full-time job because you have to stay on top of everything. You don't have an overhead. You don't have anyone looking you know, over your shoulder, ma making sure you're getting things done. So um, definitely working for yourself is a full-time job. So yes, takes a lot of discipline too. I feel that it's something that you couldn't lose on. I mean, because if it doesn't work out or if it's something that you feel you don't want to do as a career, you always have something to fall back on. So I say go for it. I am no longer vegan. I actually did a video about this, I think back in January. So um, I did it for eight months. It wasn't quite for me. I've been considering doing it again because um, a lot of people say I didn't do it long enough to really clear up my skin. And that's really the only reason why I did it. I just felt like my skin was getting worse. And I'm actually still at a place where my skin is really bad. So... I'm still on a journey just trying to figure this diet thing out because that is one of the biggest challenges for me is just trying to figure out those triggers. I stopped blogging over a year ago. I kind of felt like blogging and YouTube kind of went hand in hand. and I didn't see the purpose of doing both. Um, so, and then, then I learned too that I'm not a writer and that's something that I've never really been that good at. So I just prefer to do YouTube videos. I have definitely considered doing hair classes. Makeup, not so much, but definitely hair. I feel that I just came in at a time where blogging and YouTube wasn't so saturated, so it was a lot easier to get yourself out there. It is Seneha, and um, I know that's probably a lot different than what people expected, but I absolutely love my name and I don't know if I would ever like change my brand to like my real name. I've just kind of adopted Fash. Everyone calls me Fash, even my family too. Like everyone calls me Fash. <laughs> and when I introduce myself, depending on what scene I'm in, like if I'm in the beauty scene, I tell people my name is Fash. So yeah. <laughs> I think the easiest thing is to kind of set up a savings plan with your job to have them put a small portion away every check every pay period and you'll notice that the money will grow quickly um, also limit shopping I know we all love shopping shopping is fun I love shopping but um, whenever I have a goal in mind I don't shop at all and that's just staying out of the mall I don't go to the mall I don't go online shopping I don't even look because I don't want to be enticed to spend money you get your necessities but if there's something that you really don't need you just have to put it in your mind that you don't need it another thing that you can do which I actually talked to with someone about recently is meal prepping if you average out what you spend a day eating out that's what $15 here $10 here and if you think about putting all that money to the side that's like hundreds of dollars every month that you can be saving so I would say meal prepping is definitely another really big one because people do tend to eat out during the week I think reading is one of the biggest things whenever I'm kind of feeling a little down or if I feel, feel like I'm in a rut, I go to the bookstore and I find a lot of comfort in kind of reading self-help, inspirational books, business, you know, anything that I'm kind of going through at that time, I'll like kind of gravitate toward uh, reading into that because I think, you know, kind of reading into other people's stories and, and kind of relating to what they went through is kind of comforting and it's a good way to kind of keep you inspired. Um, how do I stay grounded? Um, I think I've just always been that way naturally. I come from very humble beginnings, and I think I, I always remember that. I always remember that um, things can be taken away in an instant. So I think it's really easy coming from where I came from. I think it's easy to kind of stay humble because, yeah, I just wasn't around people that kept their nose in the air. You know, we was just all trying to make it, you know? 
So that was all of the questions that I had for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you have any questions that you would like for me to answer on the next video, leave a comment below. So thank you guys for watching and I will chat with you in the next video. Peace.